So unless you've been living under a cave, which, let's be honest, you're probably doing better off than us, given where society is headed, um, you've most likely heard about CS2. And what is CS2? I'll tell you. Um, it's practically CSGO, but uh, ported onto a brand new engine called Source 2. It's, well, it's not technically brand new, because uh, Dota 2, a couple years back, got ported to it. Uh, but uh, this is a, um, a more significant port, in my opinion, because... Uh, everything's gonna change uh, hopefully for the better uh, as you can see the smokes are now 3d particles no more one-way smokes the graphics are more polished um, and a um, couple of them you can see your feet <laughs> i can imagine that you can see your feet in cs2 and uh, one of the most important changes they announced is obviously the lack of uh, tick rate um, no longer you don't need to worry about 64 or 128 tick rate because Basically what you see is what you get, um, the server records precisely the time you shoot and got shot. It basically means in terms that you big noobs can understand, no more excuses regarding the uh, netcode of the of the game. Now these exchanges are all, all very good and hopefully they'll uh, change or uh, announce more changes um, closer to the release which is later this summer. Um, there's this one thing that I hope uh, that they announce which they have to do something about it because I've been playing CSGO for the uh, past decade or so, ever since it got released, and uh, of course I had a blast, even though it's not my favorite shooter, uh, with my friends. I climbed to global three times with the uh, P90, most skilled weapon of uh, all time, but last couple of years I just haven't played at all because of the hacking problem. And it's crazy that uh, in order to have a um, decent um, matchmaking experience you have to download a third party app, uh, for, for in this case I was playing Face It. And then you have to pay monthly. So I have to pay monthly for a game I purchased 10 years ago, just so I can play, um, not you know, with less cheaters. It's not even cheater free. Face it, it's uh, it's, it's not even that good in my opinion. Uh, but it's better than matchmaking. And yes, I used Prime because I purchased the game uh, back when it released. So they haven't uh, said anything about it yet. But uh, given that it's a new engine. A lot of people are speculating that the cheating problem will be alleviated for the first couple of months until they develop more cheats. And in my opinion, they um, if, if hopefully that's not the case, I do hope that Valve and Gabe Newell announce something to take tackle cheaters head on. Because if they want to compete with Valorant, Valorant is practically um, cheater virtually cheat free. You'll find one or two, yeah, but... The, uh, the anti-cheat is so intrusive, uh, if you have cheats for another game, it won't let you play, which is cool. I understand that it's uh, it spies on your computer or whatever, Chinese spyware. <coughs> Excuse me, but, but it does work, you know, it's a very, very useful, very potent uh, anti-cheat. And it allows all players to have a very, very smooth experience, 90, I'd say 95, 99% of the time. Other games like Overwatch 2, for example, found other ways to fix the hack, the cheating problem. They practically gave every support a uh, free hack called Mercy. <laughs> it's a joke, a dumb joke. But the point, the the point still stands. It's a much better experience to play than CS:GO matchmaking uh, ever was. Um, so I, I hope they they tackle that problem and they sort that problem out and try to mitigate uh, cheating because um, there it, it come to it came to a point where me and my pals were finding shady players every couple of games, which is disappointing and just sad to see in such a fun game. Um, so I do hope they're working on something like that because these changes for the average Joe like you, not me, I'm above average, obviously. But even me, for the average Joe and above, much above average Joe, they will have no impact at all if I keep getting matched against uh, shady bastards that you can see through walls. So hopefully they, they um, you know, they tackle that problem. I think it's the main issue that they need to fix for the average uh, player to have a decent experience and to properly compete with Valorant, you know. Uh, because this game, on a mechanical level, I think it's much better than Valorant. Uh, it's much, um, much more faithful to its setting. Uh, I don't think Valorant fits with the CSGO type shooting, but then the, the abilities. Uh, I, I don't know, this is kind of a weird mix between Overwatch and the CS. Um, so, and it's a lot more fun to play um, than uh, Valorant and the movements feel smoother. They just have to fix the cheating problem for, you know, for it to be a um, decent experience online. So yeah, basically, these changes are amazing. Really, really quality of life changes that were needed, in my opinion, 
I they really need to do something about the cheating. I do hope they announce something regarding that in the next couple of months because if not for the uh, average person and the above average person, uh, it's just going to be a mess all over again. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Let me know your opinion. Tell me if these changes will make you come back to CSGO. If you quit for some reason or just... Um I don't know, just let me know what your thoughts are. Before I go, don't worry, I'm gonna leave you with a couple more precious minutes of CS2 gameplay without my annoying voice. So enjoy. Psych! See you later, chumps.